Hey guys, Thrasher here, and it's time to take one more shot at the Gogeta and Janemba banner while we talk about the State of Legends. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Gogeta and Janemba banner is ending in just a couple days. I have a few extra crystals, so we're going to do some single summons on the Gogeta and Janemba banner. Hopefully, I can pick Gogeta up while we talk about uh, a couple things that I sort of have issue with or that we at least need to talk about um, in Legends. The first thing I want to talk about before I actually do the summon is this Legend Saiyans banner. They've brought it back uh, for a second time now. I thought it was okay the first time they brought it in because Bardock was good, Super Vegeta was decent, it's getting worse, they keep bringing it back, I, and I'm having problems with the way that they're recycling content, so we're starting to run into the issue that I talked about a while back where I think at the six month mark, which we just recently passed, um, we're going to run into a shortage of content. And this is pretty much what we saw in Doken Battle. You see shortage of content around the six-month mark. It sort of slowly ambles along until the 12-month mark. When we hit the year anniversary, we start to see a lot more content. And from there on out, things got pretty crazy in Doken. Things picked up a lot. The game got a lot better, in my opinion. I'm hoping that's generally the case with this game. Um, one of the things that... Uh, I know from my personal experience, and every developer is different, so this may not be the case with every other developer, um, is that generally you have a launch plan, or what you're going to do as far as improving the game, improving the product over the next six months to a year. A lot of the time, it's a year, and then you have a... Uh, I, I guess you can call them goal markers after one year. So you've got your one-year plan of here's what we're doing pretty much week to week almost, and then after the one year marker, um, you've got a general idea of where you're going to be going over the next five. With a lot of these Gasha games, what I see is they generally have a six month plan, and then they start to die off for a little while. And then if they're a successful game, they come back after a year once they've sort of set up their next plan, and then they've got some steam rolling as they've had time to sort of react to the amount of... Um, acceptance the game has got so if the game is very uh favorable with fans you'll see a lot more development going on and, and you'll see content continue to come out if the game is not super favorable with fans then the game will just sort of die off and they'll just keep uh milking the cow until it runs out of milk now outside of that one of the other things that i want to talk about is the login bonuses for the end of book two so we have our celebration for or the end of part two sorry we have our celebration for the end of part two. The login bonuses, pretty straightforward. We get Master's Pack tickets, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I don't have a major problem with those. We get Silver Bells, decently good fan of those. I think there are better options there, but that's fine. The big issue I have is that they're giving us Z1 Adventures. Z1 Adventures are absolutely free things that you can get from PvP. There is no reason to throw that in there to try to give some added perceived value. There's only two real reasons that you would throw that in there unless you're trying to just pull the wool over people's eyes. One, you think people are not playing enough PvP to actually get Z1 Adventures every single day, which is bad for the game because the game is based on PvP. Or two, you think that the way that your Z1 adventures are given out in PvP is not fair enough that people will get the um, specific adventures that they need. Either way, it is not... Oh, that is a sparking unit. Either way, it's not a good look because what it's saying is that we don't... Oh. That bothers me too. This man haunts me. Anyway, either way, it's not a good look. Because what it's saying is that we don't think that the rewards that you get from PvP right now are as good as they could be. Because this item that we're giving you is in some way scarce when it shouldn't be. And just because that bothered me, we're going to do like two more single summons. And that will probably be it. Now I'm legitimately triggered. I guess I can't be that mad. It's a sparking unit. We've done, what, five or six singles at this point? Ugh. All right, so we'll do we'll do one more after this. Those were the two major things that I really wanted to talk about. Is just a lot of people are seeing this content drought, and some people may not notice the content drought because they haven't been here since the very beginning. But what we're really seeing is a lot of recycled content. The only real difference that we're seeing um, in the PVE side is 
the new events themselves have different storylines, right? So it's all they're doing is switching out the characters, but as far as the content itself, it's the same thing over and over again. So here's the last summon. Let's hope that it's Gogeta or Janemba. I do have a little bit of time left. If it's not, um, it looks like it's probably not going to be. Unfortunately, yep, Goku's just, all right, yeah, let, let Frieza just wreck you. That's cool. So, um, it looks like that's probably going to be Hero Unit, and that's where I sit on the game right now. I don't think that it's uh, at a point where we need to abandon ship and say, oh, the game's, you know, garbage. I think we are in that 6-month to 12-month period where the content is just going to be a little dry for a little while. The only thing that I worry about is whoever's making the reward decisions, because like I said, those Z1 adventures are, it's almost a slap in the face to be given those. Um, they would be better off, in my opinion, just not even awarding the adventures. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. As you can see, Gogeta still eludes me. If you're still missing a character that you want really bad, throw it down below and let's, uh, let's see who everyone's missing. And if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.